Hello Stars fans, welcome to Stars TV. We are your hosts Adam and Simon and you may notice that we are in a different location today. We're at the beach. Look, the WBBL team is away. They are playing away from home. We asked if we could go and they said no. So we said we're going on holidays and we're taking the Stars TV viewers with us. So for the rest of this episode, keep your eyes peeled <laughs> on this worldwide tour of Stars TV. Yes, and to kick the episode off today, we do have an incredible piece to thank an incredible player. Meg Laning has retired from international cricket. She's played 241 matches. She's won seven World Cups. She's won three Belinda Clark medals. 17 international centuries and Captain Australia 182 times, which is a lot. Yes, so on behalf of us and on behalf of the entire Stars TV family, we want to congratulate Meg. She's she's quite simply the GOAT. She's yeah. the best. And she's going to be playing in Stars jerseys for two more years. So she's not retiring from all cricket. She's just retiring from the international scene so she can focus her efforts on winning a title with the Stars team. It's pretty exciting. So make sure you look out for opportunities to get down and catch Meg Lanning playing for the Stars. But for now, we're going into our first segment, which is with Meg Lanning. It's Memories of the MCG. Yeah, very special. There's so much history. Um, you know all the you know the special events that have happened at the MCG. It goes so far back, and um, yeah, I, I guess yeah to have watched some of my heroes play out here and, and think probably that that would that would never be me, and then to be able to go and do it. Uh, yeah, I loved that it. it was it was so cool, and um, yeah, certainly something I remember. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, again, in front of our family and friends, and I know there's a, you know, a few girls in our team who haven't even step foot on the MCG and, and I know how super excited they are and it's just such a, a cool experience to be able to, to do that in, in a Melbourne derby as well. Um, so hopefully we can get as many people down there as possible to, to watch and really create a great atmosphere and um, no doubt the cricket will be really exciting and a, and a great game. It's a good rivalry so um, yeah, super, super pumped for it. Bonjour Simon. Oh, <laughs> merci. <laughs> we are here in the Louvre, which means only one thing. Mona Lisa's on the wall. It is <laughs> It is time to go from one artist, Meg Lanning, you see what we're doing here, to our next artist, Sophie Day, doing some artwork. Yes. It is time for Star Squiggle. Sophie Day, who's a bona fide artist, has a real crack at this. Welcome to Stars Squiggle. Our artist for the day is actually an artist moonlighting as well. We have Sophie Day. Now, interesting, I'm not sure, and we will make a decision later whether or not we judge Soph's true art ability on what happens next. <laughs> we'll, we'll make that decision. Our guest questionnaire, Annabelle Sutherland, joins us. We've got 90 seconds of questions. Annabelle, how are you feeling about this? Excited, mm. ready to go, ready to pepper Soph. It's exciting, exciting stuff. Time for the reveal. Your 90 seconds start now. What's your nickname, Sophie? Daisy. Where does that come from? Last name. You <laughs> <laughs> seem very right? focused. How <laughs> nervous are you being an artist as well, drawing at the moment? Very nervous, feel a lot of pressure right now. Go for it. Oh, I don't know. Who's got the best nickname in the team? Uh, Tessie, Freddie, I like Freddie. Nice. <laughs> what do you it? think? What do you think about Frank Sinatra? I'm not sure. Who <laughs> Who's your favourite teammate? Ah, uh, oh, tricky one. You girls. Aw, thanks. That doesn't mean you have to be nice to her. <laughs> oh, I'll take that as a compliment. What's your favourite <laughs> colour? What's your favourite colour to paint with? Ah, uh, my favourite colour to paint with. If I mixed red, blue, green, and yellow together, what colour comes out? Red, green, brown. Brown. <laughs> Is the answer always brown if it's three colours? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, you've got uh, 20 seconds to go. Yeah. Are you feeling like this is a true representation of your I art ability? I think I got stitched up with like four different elements. Very hard to put them together. What's your experience with texture on paper? 
I'm pretty experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. That's 90 seconds. How do you feel before turning it around and showing the world? Um, I actually won three elements of it, one I struggled with. I can't wait to find out which ones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually very excited. Wow, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's like lifelike. Talk us through your image. Well, this is me celebrating. <laughs> Good. Um, I didn't get a chance to get the ball, so I was going to do a whoosh like I'm hitting the stumps. Oh, do you want to add it in now? It'd be like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> yep. speed. Doesn't that whoosh mean it's going the other way though? Yeah, it's fine. And <laughs> they've already been here. The bales yeah, are, oh, the the bales are oh, off. Oh, the bales are off. It's coming yeah, this, this is way. this way. Oh yeah, my yeah, god, the bat's fine. Yeah, they've cracked it, so they've thrown their bat away. Oh, nice. What would, work. what would the title of this piece be? Um, oh, um, Sorry, good question. Um, a, a daisy wicket. A daisy wicket. I love it. There you go. A daisy wicket from Sophie Day. Reminder, all of these are going to be given away or auctioned away. Or if you go to a game, we're going to figure out what to do. We probably should have done that beforehand. Maybe we'll do an overlay. Who knows? Thanks for watching Star Squiggle. Keep tuning in. We've got more coming up. More players, more drawings, more everything. Talk to you then. Hey there, Simon. We're here in my field. Check out my crop. Adam's only talking about crop because we're about to go to the cornhole challenge. So the corn to the crop. Yeah, look, it's all a thing. It gets better, I promise, guys. Here is the cornhole challenge with Sophie Reid and Sasha Maloney. Welcome back to the multi-sport arena for the Cornhole Championship of the WBBL. Today's competitors, Sasha Maloney and Sophie Reid. It's going to be a hot one. We've got our two competitors at the ready. Four bags each, alternating throws for round one. We do high score wins. One point if you get it on the board and keep it there. Three points if you get it in the hole. Our first throw, Sophie Reed. She's gone low, flat, to the left. A little too far to the left. Small boards here today at the Cornhole Tournament. Uh, up next, Sash. Sasha Maloney. Full short of the Cornhole board. Tension building, none from each score. So freed with her second bag. She's trying to play with the wind. We're, we are in a roofed arena that has walls as well. Almost our first cornhole. Incredible stuff. Really just found her range. Sasha Maloney, the heat is on. Oh, an incredible turn of events. The bag stays on the board, covering the hole, doesn't drop. You wouldn't read about it. You would not read about it. Pressure mounts. So freed. Keeps it flat, keeps it low. That's a half on. We've had to determine half ons are on. Half ons are on. So in the lead at the moment, Sasha really needs to knock this bag in. She knocks the bag in. It's a three point cornhole. We, we're primed for a six here. Goes low, keeps it low, goes to skim it. I don't know if that was the best tactic. She's really regrets it. Just looking at the face. Yeah. The shake of approval. Yeah. So for Reed. Last throw. Skims off. Two points. We need a three to win, a two to take it to a tie break. Sash Maloney. Keeps it low, flat, skims in. Doesn't drop. Still doesn't drop. Sash Maloney praying for an earthquake to drop this in. We are going. No, we're not going to a tiebreaker. Sophie Reed wins. Sophie Reed wins. Incredible from Sash Malone. You couldn't do that again if you tried. What a game. What a game. Shake hands, awkward hands, shake in the middle. <laughs> you might notice Stars fans, it's a bit cold. Oh man. my gosh. We didn't pack appropriate for this holiday. <laughs> Hopefully you got your jumpers and your woolly socks on at home. Hurry up Simon, <laughs> let's throw to the next segment. We've got the RPS challenge. Ready? One, two, oh I tried to go scissors but I'm frozen. <laughs> RPS challenge, let's go. Welcome back to the Rock Paper Scissors Arena. We are entering the quarterfinals of the WBBR Rock Scissors Paper Tournament. Controversial way to say it, but that's what we're going with. For our first round of the quarterfinals, we've got Sophie Reed playing the captain, Meg Lanning, coming in off a bye. Here we go. Jogging in, she's, she's keen, she could be rusty. Remembering all of our rules, best of three, 
No hesitation. Rethrows allowed. Go. Ooh, tie. This is the start. Oh, Meg Lanning. Lanning goes 1 0 up. Oh, my gosh. Tiebreaker. Oh, Lanning! That's why she's the captain. That's why she's the captain. We're excited to continue our quarterfinal run with a brutal head to head battle. Millie Illingworth versus Alice Capsey. Ooh. Far less surprise on the second one. Here we go. Some early throw issues from both of them. Oh, oh, oh big start. start. Illingworth. Dutch got oh. two scissors back to back. Oh Ellingworth. my god! In three games, no ties at all. Wow. Millie Illingworth with a win. That is what we call champagne rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Welcome to Italy. Next up, we have this segment for Millie Illingworth taking on the Light and Easy 60 Second Challenge. Remember, Stars fans, Light and Easy goes into the microwave for three and a half minutes at a minimum for now. Millie Illingworth oh. got 60 seconds. Quick, left hurry up! I've only got 60 seconds. about to fall under Simon. Here she is, Millie Illingworth. Hey guys, it's Millie Illingworth. Um, today I'm doing a 60, 60 second um, light and easy challenge. Today I'm eating beef lasagna and vegetables. Um, yeah, let's get started. I love that they're so quick and easy to just pick up and grab out of the fridge, especially here, um, just after training. Um, yeah, like, you know, a couple of minutes and it's done, so, yeah, I'd go. <laughs> you know, I love how quick and easy they are. Oh, I do love a lasagna, that's the first thing I picked out of the fridge, so, yeah, love a good beef lasagna. Yeah, I think it's great, like, they've got that knowledge of, um, you know, they know what's good for us and what's not, so, I think it's great that, um, we can, we don't have to worry about what we're, what we're putting into our bodies because it's, they know, best in the business, so. Oh no. Oh well, at least making this meal was easier than making a tower, so it's all right. I've got a good meal here anyway. Hey Stars fans, welcome to the Big Apple, New York City. We are in the city that never sleeps. We're glad you're joining us for our world trip at the moment. Mm. It's, it's very busy here, we can tell you that and it's very busy on the roads, on the sixth road to the BBL. We're gonna see what Tom Rogers is up to. Yeah, no, it started well. Um, been playing a few days with Victoria, it's been a lot of fun, and, and we started three and one, so, so that's a great start. Um, been getting a few little runs here and there, but maybe not as many as I would have liked. He, um, he's just a freak, he's, he's capable of doing things that no one else in the world can do. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly, I was speechless. I've got, I've got nothing for you. We haven't played a heap of FIFA. Uh, I can tell you who the worst is. Um, Sammy Harper's not very yeah. good. Uh, he always claims that he needs to be the world 11 and, and everyone else needs to be a one-star team. So, um, yeah, he's not the best. I'm so excited to see Harpy uh, play for the Stars this year. I think, obviously, he's a wonderful keeper um, and he can he can score 360. Uh, so I'm super, super excited. He's one of the best people you'll ever meet. He's going to get a lot of runs and take a lot of catches, I think. So look out for him this year, for sure. I think my, my girlfriend, Luna, was, was in about seven different chat rooms trying to, to get onto it and get some tickets. But yeah, couldn't quite get it done. Part of our worldwide tour, Stars fans, is to go beyond the worldwide up into the stars. See what he did there? Yes. That was, that was yes. really good. We are in space and we've just seen what Tom Rogers is up to. It's time to go into the TikTok universe for the Marshmallow Challenge. Thank you for joining us, Stars fans. We appreciate you coming on our travels around the world. We hope you enjoyed them as much as we did. And look, and it wasn't just a tour around the world. It was a tour beyond the realms of the world. This was a fun tour through Stars TV. And 
A slight little insight into the mind of those behind Stars TV. It's getting worrying, Stars fans. It's getting really worrying. But we will be back next week, Wednesday, 6.30. Yeah. See you here or wherever it will be. Wherever. I don't know where that'll be. Probably here. Yeah, probably here.